Earlier this year, the Rochester Public School District got a harsh reminder of the importance of cybersecurity. It was a ransomware attack, and it put the personal information of staff and even some students at risk. The district doesn't want that to happen again, and it hopes voters agree. ABC 6 News reporter Jordan Sansom is live tonight at district headquarters, where the school board did make a big decision tonight. Jordan? James and Robin, Rochester voters are going to have to decide how much online security is worth. If they want to beef it up, they'll have to pay up. Voters will have a decision to make this fall. Tuesday night, the RPS school board voted to put a technology levy on the ballot and let voters decide if they're willing to pay to beef up safety. And we'll be focusing on school safety, technology equipment, things to improve our uh, protection against cybersecurity. The board wants to prevent another incident like the ransomware attack in April that crippled the district's technology systems. If approved, the levy will provide the school district with over $10 million and free up the $7 million currently planned to be used from the general fund. Taxes will go up for 10 years, costing the average homeowner about $11 more a month. We think that $11 a month for a median house value is a good amount for people to think about investing in the future of our students. The district will also have to decide on the current operating levy. Approved back in 2015, the current 10-year levy is set to expire in 2025. They can either put a new operation levy on the ballot or extend the current one, but that option isn't sitting well with some. We'll feel like our trust was broken if you renew that particular levy because we passed it with an understanding it would expire. If the levy isn't extended or expanded before it expires, RPS anticipates they would need to cut another $17 million from its budget. The board has until June of 2025 to decide what to do. Over the next few months, the district will work with taxpayers to educate them on the importance of the technology levy and why it's needed. If the levy fails, there's still that $7 million that will go towards technology and cybersecurity. The election is on November 7th. Live in Rochester, Jordan Sansom, ABC 6 News.